Well, a very pleasant good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are watching for, and welcome to Flow Racing. This is coverage of the 35th annual Lucas Oil Chili Bowl Nationals here on Flow, presented by NOS Energy Drink. My name is Caleb Hart, joined in the booth by Chris Willer and Kevin Swindell for night number one of this year's Chili Bowl. Uh, tell me about where your mindset is coming into this year's Chili Bowl with your race team, with your driver, Logan Seavey, and uh, if you're approaching anything different in this time of pandemic no not a lot you know um i mean our deals they only show up here every year so it's kind of rinse and repeat um you know this is the first year since i got hurt that we've come back for a second time with the same exact package the same driver the same everything so um you know after running fourth and you know basically being lapped on that first run last year and, and then being able to uh you know drive up through there we feel pretty good about it and um, just excited to get going and, and hopefully, uh, you know, do just a little bit better than we did last year. They kept, they prepped it before every race. And I was like four in it trying to go by guys and finally bite. And I got it down, but I landed so hard when I dropped it that I knocked the air filter and shit off of it. That was a sweet down there on the Yeah, on the nerf bar. Yeah. the nerf bar. That's the only thing ever made me here. Like the very first year I came, I was running like seventh on Saturday. I biked in practice like, with Nick Key's car the last year I ran it. I was like the third session on the racetrack, race on Monday. And I've never felt so much pain in a race car in my life. My back, my butt, it was so bad. Knocked the wind out of me. I like idled for a lap against the wall. And luckily somebody behind me flipped. So the caution came out and I like loosened my belt. Got a breath. I, I mean, it knocked the wind out of me when I came back down. I got killed myself, baby, in hot laps the second year alone. Really? I had it all the way. Like, it was like on the wide of the future, I think, yeah. almost. I got it back straightened up. It like rolled it in with trucks and it was kind of soft. And there was like a, in the center of one and two, there was like a short divot. I'm like, don't hit the f divot. Just don't hit the divot. Hit the divot. And I think I like. I'd run the top, run the top, and then I ran the bottom three and four, and I was like, gonna go back to the top. So I went in and kind of slid across, and as soon as I got in, I said, oh, shit. Forgot that was there. I was like, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Like what?
So I hit so I, I just overcorrected a little bit instead of just sending it down easy. And this guy will probably ride. Right. You gotta try to just let him. Like I'm just idling I was over it. I was done. Because it's like all you can do to try to just like ride. easily set it down. Yeah. It's like you wait too long, you get too far, then you're screwed. It's like overcorrecting on pavement. You just kinda like yeah, you're you better off just like back. just do this and then like ride into the fence instead of going and then but that's what it does then. It's head on, yeah.
a little bit better. I just kind of just doing the same thing I feel like I did in the early last year, just letting it get tight, you know, instead of keeping it. You like that? Yeah. But like when I was on the top and when I could keep it rotated and like on the throttle, I think it went right around there. That's why I like what I was telling you, it's like so much of the time you're better off just to go in there yeah. and drop your left rear and get up and then pick it up and let it stand itself up while you're already, then you kind of control it. It's like you run out in there and kind of set it and it's like it just it goes here and it. Yeah. yeah, they definitely want to be out and here. It's just, when I was getting key stars, it was like here, you know? I can only go fast if I'm here. If I'm here and keys stuff, I was terrible. Like just change it. Like when I'm here in this car, it's, it's driving around the whole corner. If I got here in Keith's car, I would just slide around. Just getting used to letting that thing get out and on the gas. Like anytime it comes around, I lift more than I could. And it straightens up and then I'm chattering right in front. It's got, it's got drive, it's got grip. I'm just not used to having grip when I'm sideways. Every other car I drive, I'm like, I have to be straight and yeah. in the stuff. And yeah. This car don't want to be straight, it wants to be Well, out. you can just wrap it hard. You, want, yeah, you have to keep it out. Yeah, you, you have to drive it hard. Yeah, exactly. That would be good. stuff is when you turn it, it actually makes it, it's, it gets a lot tighter than another car. Right. Yeah, it grips up when you are when you have back steer. Back steer in it, it makes a grip. But I don't feel it near as bad now. I think we're better now than we were last year at this point. Wait in the left rear now either. Just like riding a bike, right? Yeah. And doing alright? Good. Feeling good? Alright, let's make it happen. Okay. Let's make it happen tonight. God bless. Dude that's on the front row, it wouldn't even take it wouldn't even run. The guy that's on the outside the front row, it wouldn't even run. Right in there. That was that red one to stop. They have been crisscrossed and they've just been moving them straight up if they don't run. But the one that'll be on the front is decent. He just doesn't race very much. He's been okay at times here, but I don't think he's raced much in a long time. Good. 
didn't push down the street. Right.
that's what I thought. I was like, if we start hitting this, we can just snuck her by everybody. But they didn't. I didn't realize this one they put on didn't sight, but it probably just sealed, like basically sealed up once it get hot. This, this stuff will not real fast. It's the outside down here. Jesus. <laughs> stuff on that one. This thing, I don't know. You know, a couple times you see me go in, I drove over the cushion getting in. It's like when you pumped that you didn't hit it right, so you didn't have no brakes. Yeah. So it's like almost easier for me to just slide around the bottom. But it's like that tire over there after it just like sealed up and it quit just having any grip. Yeah. I mean, it looks decent. It's just, yeah. like you just got to drag your left rear down there a little bit better. Well, it's like, when I didn't have the brakes, I couldn't. I didn't want to get in it because then I'd get tight. Yeah, but it's, it still don't. I mean, we took the drive out of it. And it just somewhat when it gets real slick. This, I let every lap of this one. We never, like, we stayed in this traffic like this the whole race. Gotcha. It went, like, I just remember the top being super rough. You, I remember, you, like, you, the you first time I went up here, I was, like, almost running wide open. Who's in Keystar? Is that Rico? Yeah, I think so. This is the weird. It's got patchy. Super yeah. patchy. That end was really odd. If you always watch, like, my stuff would go to there, and then it, like, pivots. Instead of just being, like, a... It's smooth. That was always, it's like, be like, you know, you're like here, you set down, and then right. instead of trying to just like. Then it turned it like on the gas. Yeah. But it's almost like, I wonder if some of that, that exit, it's like if you were, you're in the gas and trying to rotate it maybe with the back wheels mm -hmm. earlier, you know what I mean, and get straighter, it might help you stay in there. Right. You know, instead of like being there and then picking the gas up and it just instantly it's like if you're here and the wheels are already spinning yeah. it doesn't grab as hard and push it's kind of like they're breaking loose a little bit when they get there so it's not so much of a like wheelie right. overall it's kind of get on the gas more i always felt like you could get in and then just like instantly get back to like just it's even if it's just that much so the rear wheels flow you instead of trying to run off right right yeah it's Huh. Nothing. What? I have, don't ask me. I don't know. Okay, Is that where it's good. supposed to go? Yeah. Might try to twist it out for that tank though. If you can. This way? Yeah. I was trying to get it farthest forward. I think we're going to cross the line a little crossed up. So that's farthest forward. I saw Kevin won that one race. Is that going to be clear? That should be alright. Is that the wrong thing to say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had it in my hand that year. What are you talking about? <laughs> threw it out. Hello. Four of my picks are in my heat race. Four of them. <laughs> so how are you going to manage this? So they all start behind me. Not my problem. I think they have. How many kangaroos is it going to take to take down a giraffe? <laughs> That's a pretty in-depth question. I know it is. You get a variety of answers on that. I know. I, I think it'd take at least three.
Luke had the other night, he was like six. Right. So I, just, I mean, nobody, there shouldn't be anybody that gets 100 points right here, though, so it's, it's going to be all Joe B will be a little bit better. Buddy, Zeb, anybody who won the chance. If it's not like 40 points, no, like it's only a couple. Yeah, like you'll be able to make up ground from 30 points. Yeah, it broke nine, honestly. Really good. After that, all four, but it never gets, never gets out of control. Yeah.
Do they do it back to you? There's two points that killed me. It was that caution that put the 29 in front of me, and then Grob driving inside of me. Like caution just moving everybody up. Yeah. And I was the first one to get up there, and it was like yeah. circling everybody. That's what I mean. I think you'd be better off just abandoning the one and two on the bottom yeah. completely. Yeah, up one and two bottom for you. Who cares if there's a lane? Just slide across and make them do something. At least just break the momentum. You get them sliding and crossing, and then you just go back and stick three and four on the bottom and, yeah, and slide yourself, and then you're done. Because you were as good as Bell that first run when you're up. Like off of two, you were. No, like, me and Buddy were the only ones on the top, and I drove to his back bumper on us. Felt like. The caution comes out, he's three cars ahead of me, and then everybody moves up at that point. I already go around him. Even early, it rotated for us. So. Yeah, I never really got a big plow. Yeah, I feel like until that caution, like we were running a perfect race. Yeah, yeah but once ninth round off the bat was set, and then got a couple more. If that that yellow site, like you were 022 from beating the line, and we were seventh on that restart. If he didn't just do whatever the f he did down the front straightaway, you could have just got to the bottom. He's been set right there. Yeah. Yeah, he like got to the cone and stopped. I went to turn down and it's too late. I ran right back. I shortcut an infield on last lap and I freaking. No, we're good. Lost. We got the car. We're, yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you just, just, just get your right rear in there and do whatever it does to get into the line. Right. <laughs> I just jumped over it. You see what I meant about the line? How far, like, there's like this much meat. It's not like this where it used to be where the line's here. It's like the line's way up here and there's all of this. I feel like this place, as soon as you you don't make time on an end, you just give up. Like, you just don't ever touch it. Unless it's like a situation where you're just trying to parlay something. You just, yeah, I mean, like you're better off in line than you are giving up ground. Like when I was probably like 14 or 15, dad always, you just sign a piece of paper and send it to Motorsports Designs and that was your signature on your car, you know? So I did mine and it was like, E, then there didn't really get very good wiggle in it, like line and dot. Well, the dot didn't end up in the decals, and they made like 15 of them, so it was just like, we're committed to it now. The amount of people that walked up to me and asked me if I was Ken Swindell. You say he's changing? Are you going to play that? Yeah, that's, that's actually <laughs> what I plan on doing. I was like, no, there's. I started literally taking a paint pen and was in with dot above the on the decal. What about the, uh, what are the mini kangaroos called? Like wombats or something? A wallaby. Wallaby? wallaby. Alright, how many wallabies would it take to take down a giraffe? A lot. I mean, they're roughly, what, half the size? So would it take twice as many? Would you rather fight a hundred wallaby sized giraffes? <laughs> hundred giraffe sized wallabies. Sammy Swindell looks at the back of the car and taking the helmet off. He knows his night is over here. Left front damage, it looks like, as well. As they roll that one back over, see if we can find out what happened here. Two guys side by side down in there and up ahead of them. And wow. Wow. 
Sammy getting, I couldn't tell if he had any help or not. Uh, may get another look at it here, but Swindell kind of spinning around in a nice pirouette. I mean, he got, yeah. So it, just like that, second lap in and flip count goes to 65. I think that was Frankie Garini right behind him, but again, hard to tell if, exactly if Garini uh, kind of helped him around or not. Nonetheless, Basically, anytime I'm in it, this thing's been really, really good. And, uh, you know, just up to me to kind of do my job. And it seems like, you know, as hard as I drive, uh, that's as fast as the car will go. So, um, you know, I probably was a sixth place driver with the with the first place car on Thursday. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just how it goes. So I just got to got to figure out how to run this thing a little bit harder and, um, you know, just stay stay comfortable. It's quite a bit different than, you know, what I drive outdoors. But um, it, like I said, it has speed when I do my job. So I just got to make sure that, um, you know, I don't make any uh, big mistakes. and. I got to start 10th here, so that's uh, the worst I've been sitting going into a Saturday feature, really, I think, since my first Chili Bowl. But um, like I said, this thing's uh, really fast and uh, really maneuverable, so uh, I feel like I'm good anywhere on the racetrack. Uh, I'm not really sure what they did to it. It looks like they worked the bottom quite a bit, which uh, I'm not sure if that was the best decision for me, at least, or uh, not going to benefit me very much. I was starting on the outside, and uh, hopefully it doesn't stay on the bottom too long, because we gotta, we got to be able to make moves and uh, go buy cars. to go to the top, I can't hide myself up. Because we rolled around there and it was like juice right in the middle. Like we all, where everybody's right rear was, like you move up three feet yeah. off the berm like you're not, normally don't, not supposed to be. I got nervous in the beginning. I was hammering it. Like I, was, I had decent speed, but gravel was just... Yeah, gravel killed you and then that second run it was 
Yeah. Like you just once you figure out to kind of like not chase the edge, right. that little bounce is killing you off the board. But apply my back. Yeah, once I just stopped trying to even lean against it on exit and just drove through the slick and yeah. momentumed it, it was just like just picked it up clean and right. started banging across to it. Yeah, I mean I was. I hammered it early because I knew we were going to have to, and it was like, I stayed even for a lap until I got the gravel. That's the thing, if, if gravel would have got out of there, you would have come out of there like... Nice. We would have just maintained until the bottom slowed down, and it would have started driving around people. I think, um, yeah, especially if that curb is that solid, all race, we're going to have to be, stay freed up. Yeah. But then, like I said, I was talking to Kevin, I, if I would have known no one was going to go to that middle, yeah. I would have tightened myself up so much. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't want to have the last minute jump to the top and be yeah. too tight to get up there. Yeah, well that's where you put the so ring like, down in the right rear. Yeah. And it'll, you can keep it stiff. Yeah, keep the compression in there. Keep the compression <laughs> stiff. Put the rebound in and when it loads up, it'll stay there. Yeah. And then it's going to push the tire down and then it's going to not jump off of it. Yeah. They just get rid of the whole burr? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. 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 It, going into three, the chalk line's still there. <laughs> And just as you come out of three and into four, it's gone. They didn't touch it right here. Like it. it goes right there and it's normal. Yeah. We're going to kill the bottom lane right. But all this? Just look how soft them. it is. You think it's gonna stay all right? You see those guys That's the thing is it. I think you can run you probably just run your left sides up here and run your right, right rear right, right through right there. there. Soft I have no like why on earth would you even think we need to knock the burn off?
Yeah. And I biked on that restart. Yeah. That's such a fucking waste. Like, yeah. who saw there being a giant curve and no bottom and. Thank you. Come back. Waste of time. Then everybody's gonna kill each other at the end for nothing. Alright, I can run in freaking 12. What are we doing? My balance is good. I can, I can run the curb easy. Yeah, we needed it up car length higher in yep. the bottom to have something. Some, some sort of grip. Spent an hour working on the racetrack to get that. Yeah, you just gotta drive to the side of people, I guess, but even at that rate, you're not gonna go anywhere. I was, I mean, at like halfway, I hit the position of game thing, and it was like two, one, two, two, one, negative, negative, like, there's nothing. Yeah, yeah it's like you were stuck on the bottom. Yeah. The one year you don't want to start on the yeah. bottom. It's probably the worst track we've had since the late rubber. That was awesome. I think it started with just that curve that's been there the last two days. Like yeah, that, that, curve little, that, that, that curve that was there yesterday never went away. Well, they were talking about that lip they made from more slide jobs all week. So that's the lift we had to run in all week. Right. For a minute, I thought we were going to be able to diamond, like get in against yeah, it and turn down. Yeah, too. You could kind of get close, but you don't have a run to slide. Yeah. There's no exit. Yeah. There's just no grip down there until it's like all the way in the straightaway. And you just, you know. I'll be right back. Yeah. This place did sometimes be so damn good. It just How it's frustrating you? when it's that bad. And you don't get it again for 365 days. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing we can do about it. Nobody was, nobody. nobody was passing. They yeah, were all staying in one lane. Nowhere to go? Yeah. yeah. A couple guys that might get down or this or that. Right. There wasn't much. There wasn't much. I mean, the one year I got a preliminary night. When he started, the guy came off the top and just hit me. Yeah. You know, they watered the infield. And I went in and it's like... I mean, I could have ran over people and got out. I just kind of slid. So they got the way out of the one year before. Right. Started in the back. It's like, they passed the flag. It seemed like 40 laps. And then they all got against the fence. And then at the bottom, I just started trucking on the bottom. And then I finished fifth. I know. I was hoping at some point it would, it would get too hard to run the top. And it would just... Never really got there. There wasn't anything on the bottom. Nah, we, we started the race, it was already still there. Black. Yeah. Did you see his floor? What? Did you see his floor? It's up probably three inches. I couldn't use the brake after that last one. The whole brake side's way up there. It's, it's like three inches. My knee was like almost in the steering wheel. That's showbiz, baby. That was miserable. <laughs> Complete misery. I was going to say. Where'd you finish? 5th, 18th, and 26th. Wow. You're in the money. You're all right. 41, yeah. 150 bucks. Made two grand. Yeah. <laughs> you were fit? Yeah. Wow. What's that pay? 1200 I think it was, or what did it say? 1500 Wow. What did I miss it by? You got more than two grand. So. Five. Damn, I got beat by almost 200 points at the end of that deal. Oh, you're going. That didn't take long. 